Hello guys, today I want to teach you about simple beam uh, in Abacus. Uh, for start, uh, we have to create the part, create part in module part, create part in 3D deformable solid and extru extrusion, and we will change it maybe to 50. Or 100 is better. 100, it's the size of your sketch and continue. This is your sketch. You can uh, use this for creating a sketch for beam. You can write anything uh, in the coordinates of your edges, the edges of your uh, beam here, or you can just uh, do it like me. Okay. Now you press, you can see, we can press this or ESC. No, not that ESC. And then press done. And now it's asking for the depth of your part. Um, as I, um, as if you saw that, uh, it's eight. So the depth 80 can be good. Now we have, we don't need to do anything else in part for this um, exercise. Now we have to go into property. In property, uh, first you have to create material. You can do everything you want here. Create material, for example, or here, material, create. For example, I'll, mm, but I prefer this one for starters is better. Uh, if uh, the provence uh, are very good in our case, usually use this uh, this side. I don't know why I think this this is very simpler and very easier. And create uh, material. Uh, you can choose every material here: density, mechanical, thermal, elasticity, plasticity, and every every kind of material you can define here. For example, uh, our, we will just define the elasticity, the elasticity of our material, material here. And now then go mechanical, elasticity and elastic. Young's module. Awesome. And then press OK. We don't need to change anything else in this exercise. Uh, now we have the, our material, material number one. Now we have to create section. In order to create section, you have to click here. Uh, section one, solid, homogeneous, and continue. And now press OK. Now you have a section and material one with it. Now we have to assign the section to the beam. So. You click on this, select the region to be assigned the section. You select this region. This is one part, so if you even click on it, uh, it will hold it up. And then press always uh, untick this create set, create set. I'll tell you why in next videos. Then press done. Okay. And now, as you can see, it's green now. Uh, uh, when it's green, it means uh, uh, the material is assigned to this part. And uh, there is a problem with it now. Uh, and if you want to know what is the material uh, that is assigned, uh, you can see here. Uh, uh, if you want to see the parameters of that material, you can see here. Material Manager and Edit, and here is everything. For now, and uh, if you want to know what uh, what colors mean, you can click on here, and every um, color is defined here. Okay, now uh, let's go. Uh, we need assembly. Create instance. And now here um, uh, we are creating instance. The instance type uh, 
it's better uh, to be independent uh, um, but um, I will do in independent mode uh, maybe in the next video uh, I'll do it uh, in independent but uh, now I'll do independent mode but remember independent is better for this kind of uh, beam and now okay it's created now step you need to create a step step one in uh, static general we're doing a static and don't change anything here this is these are okay with this simple example then okay this step is created the default step and step one we miss then we don't need interaction we are not doing interaction here then load In load we have to first uh, define boundary conditions boundary conditions here and uh, boundary conditions uh, in um, step one choose this one exactly like me we don't need electrical electrical or anything else and press continue and boundary condition select regions for the boundary condition select for example this side or maybe the other side and then press done um, here uh, for example it means uh, you want uh, uh, it means uh, the x axis and uh, you are to i will it's better i'll tell you in uh, another video just uh, choose this one it means no move from x axis y axis and z axis and no um, rotation in any of these axes then press ok as you can see now our boundary conditions are defined this is our boundary condition if you hold ctrl and alt and left uh, and right click uh, it, this will happen you can uh, zoom in and zoom out if you hold ctrl and alt and left click it will rotate like this and if you hold ctrl and alt and scroll uh, this will happen you can move your part not exactly move your part and move yourself but anyway and then if you want a normal uh, view again you can click on this or maybe this uh, x file x one now we need this uh, and if you don't have this menu um, i will tell you in another video how to uh, bring it here uh, and next uh, we know we have the loads but here we need to create a load we have just boundary conditions here in order to create a load we click on create load um, um, we can choose all, all kinds of uh, loads here mm. what kind do you think it's good here mm. concentrate and moment pressure surface reaction I'll just leave. now I will choose pressure step one remember don't create load on this step just another this step is just for boundary conditions so step one continue select the surface for the load here or any uh, anywhere else but i choose here 
and done. Now asking for the magnitude. I don't know. Anything. Maybe hmm, 20. This is the equation of how the force goes on the beam. Mm, just don't touch it, and then OK. Now the load is finished. Um, we for I think we forgot something here. In a step, uh, in create field, field output. Uh, oh, we have. Um, here we have uh, stress. These are the uh, outputs uh, of your job. Um, you don't need to do, as a, you don't need you don't need to even touch it. Uh, I'm just telling you if you don't need the contact, uh, if you don't have contact here. Uh, if you need anything, you can uh, do it here for the outputs uh, of the job. We miss. We did load and now mesh. For meshing, uh, you have C part instance and everything. Oh, I remember here in assembly uh, when it, it asked for dependent or independent here, independent or in, independent. I choose dependent, and now it's having some errors here. Um, See, it, it says dependent part instance cannot be edited or assigned mesh. So, click just here, just uh, on parts, and sit on parts. Global size, for example, um, it's 8. Apply. This is very low. The distance are too much, so change it to maybe 50. Apply. Oh, I, I'm sorry, my bad. And I change it to two or one, maybe. And then uh, it's the size of your element. And then press OK. Don't touch anything else. And then um, mesh part. Okay, to mesh the part, yes, mesh it, and this is the mesh, uh, and uh, these are the seeds you did uh, now. This is the mesh, I don't know, uh, we don't have to do anything else, we don't need to do anything, anything else here, uh, but uh, we can do a uh, different uh, kind of mesh change your mesh type here um, for example uh, uh, I think uh, we can do very different kind of mesh here uh, we will just uh, do normal mesh here I will do uh, different meshes in another uh, video okay the mesh is completed uh, don't do the last uh, things I did just now uh, and now optimization we don't need a, actually uh, any optimization right now in this job and now in job part, create job, create job very important, uh, continue, don't, you don't need to touch any of these, okay, as you can see, now there is a job, now you have to submit the job, so click on this job manager, and submit and wait for it 
as you can see here, wait for it to, to submit. Now it's submitted. Uh, completed successfully IR. Completed successfully. Now click on results. Now it's the fun part here. It's the results. Uh, because we had no interaction, uh, this is not use usable here. Uh, there are lots of things here. For example, this is uh, here. We can see everything of your job. You can see the deformation distress anything you can uh, you can choose anything here i hope uh, this video was helpful for you uh, subscribe if you liked it uh, I'll make more videos and I hope it was useful for you. Thank you.